You know, watching someone eat soup isn't very exciting really. But when you know they've ridden for two and a half months and 16,000 miles all the way across America, Central America and South America to the top of the Andes at 15,000 feet, to a place you might consider is in the middle of nowhere, I suppose it's got a slightly different cachet. Ah. Yeah, bit of llama. Mm, nice. Mm. My job is to make nice pictures of the bike and great films of my journey around the world and to relay this story about where I'm going and, and how I'm doing it to my audience and that's the best bit of this job. It's the bit of this job which I truly love and you suddenly get to a point and where I am at the moment in the Chilean Andes is the fact that it's so awesomely beautiful and it suddenly reminds me of what a magnificent world we live in. It's wonderful. feeling when you're, you're about to start a new ride and you've checked the bike it's all okay and you're all loaded you're happy and you're going on a quite a dramatic ride which is in this particular instance across the Andes so I'm on the way to Kalama via places like San Cristobal and Uyui um, I've been here before I know the route and um, so far so good it should be all right it should be a good day <laughs> So a day in the life of riding a Yamaha Tenere 700. Or is it a life in the day you're packing so much riding this beautiful bike? Um, so I was riding out of Chile amongst the most amazing scenery, heading towards the Alto Plano and crossing the Andes once again. Extraordinarily, I find a bloke who just comes up alongside me whilst I'm parked up having a think. And he's riding a Tenere 700 as well. So he makes me a cup of coffee. You know that person that stands in the doorway at a party and doesn't seem to move? Well, the geeks will rule the world because he's rather clever. Because um, the whole party has to pass through that doorway in order to get to where it needs to get to and he doesn't have to move. Um, rather reminds me of me. Well, Oshawa is a little bit like that because it's the most southernmost city in the world. It's at the very southern tip of the Americas. And any motorcyclist who aims to ride the Americas from coming south from New York will need to get there. And Oshawa doesn't have to move because the party comes to it. And it's really rather wonderful. And it's far away from anywhere. And it's definitely worth getting to when you get to it. So what does a journey like this mean to any motorcyclist and what does it mean to me? 
It means meeting people that I'd never normally know about and how we all exchange ideas and in a way somehow become friends. It means riding my bike to places which in my wildest dreams I never thought I'd visit, then come home with heroic tales and great stories. It means proving to everyone that the world is a fantastic place to live in and to travel across and that if you do it with the right spirit, it's friendly, it's safe and it's fun. Until the next time, take care.